Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. In today's video we're going to demonstrate low power, high frequency or HF radio email in the field. We found a nice quiet spot here on the mountain. And despite my best efforts to sabotage this video by leaving the radio home and the WIP component of the Chameleon Antenna modular portable antenna system at home, we're going to improvise and set up anyway. I was fortunate that a neighbor out here in West Virginia also has a bug out bag radio just like mine, the ASU FT817ND. And we're going to use components of chameleon antennas and pass antenna system to improvise a field antenna, allowing me to highlight my mistake of leaving stuff back at home, but we're still going to get on the air and use the components that we have. So I got everything in the milk crate there. We're going to break it down and set up a little HF radio station here in the mountains and send and receive some email. Be right back. All right, 20 minutes later, guys, we're operational. We have an HF radio connection from West Virginia to the Catskill Mountains in New York, sending and receiving HF radio email. We're powering the station here in the field with hardened power systems, QRP Ranger, power supply here. Let me turn the volume down a little bit. The power supply is running the radio that I borrowed from my neighbor, his bug out bag radio, the FT817ND. It's also powering the SCS Pactor modem, which is interfacing between the radio and the laptop. I tuned my antenna up with a QRP or low power tuner made by MFJ. That's an MFJ971. And we're running 5 watts. And as you can see, looking at the needle, our SWR is perfect. We had no problems tuning this antenna. The antenna, well, we improvised. As I said in the beginning of the video, I did my best to sabotage this weekend's video by leaving the radio and components of chameleon antennas, modular portable antenna system, back at the house. Here we have the hybrid micro base, and I'm using the counterpoise wire that comes with that kit as the long wire antenna. It runs out to a tree out there and then drops down. And I also have some stranded wire here copper wire, if you can see that in the lens, running out down the hill here to act as the counterpoise. So that's our HF station operational in the field. We're starting to feel some raindrops out here, so I did bring the tarp. Despite my best efforts to ruin this weekend's videos, I did manage to hobble something together to make a video for you guys and to introduce the QRP Ranger by Harden Power Systems and show you a little bit of chameleon antennas, modular portable antenna system. And I'll put a link down below for the antenna, but my mistake of not bringing all the parts did provide an opportunity to improvise in the field and come up with an antenna solution so we could stay operational. Now I'm going to walk behind the ATV here and show you the connections on the back of all this equipment. On the rear of the 817ND, I have a data cable, power cable, and RF cable. The power cable goes to the back of the QRP Ranger, and as you can see there, that unpopulated plug is the DC wall wart charging port and you can hook up a solar panel, a 12 volt panel and charge the QRP Ranger. I bring the RF over to the back of the tuner. The tuner does what it does to make the antenna look correct at 50 ohms for the radio. I came off the port here with the counterpoise off the ground post there on the tuner. Brought the coax around and connected it to the hybrid micro base. And then we ran that wire out as a long wire. So there's our station. Took about 20 minutes to set up from the mountains of West Virginia to the Catskill Mountains in New York, setting and receiving HF email in the field. Took 10 minutes to pack up the station, get everything into the milk crate, ready to bug out from this location, head back to the retreat like we were never even here. And a small update on my previous videos for mounting radios to the front of the ATV. I got a lot of questions about what am I going to do when it rains, like it's about to here. Well, my solution is a shower cap over the VHF radio and for the GMRS radio I slide it out of the rack and put it in the little storage compartment over there on the right hand side of the bike. So that's my rain solution when I'm out in the field with the ATV. If it starts to rain throw a shower cap over that radio and put the other one in the storage compartment. And as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with another field demonstration of HF radio operations and an introduction of the QRP Ranger power supply. We'll be seeing that again on the channel here. That's going to be a permanent addition to my bug out bag. And another demonstration of chameleon antennas, modular portable antenna system, even though I left some of the parts back at the house. We'll see that antenna again, and I will get a video posted showing the, the mill whip vertical in the vertical configuration and the Nivis configuration. Thanks for watching, guys.